When y'all be saying lace wear, I can always see your lace. When I say lace wear, you really cannot see the lace. The lace is 100% missing on this one. Eunice Hair sent me this gorgeous ombre highlight, piano brown, 13 by 4, water wave lace front wig. She's the perfect addition to my collection. She's beautiful and she's also going to be the perfect transition into fall. 100% glueless and I'm going to show you how I installed her completely beginner friendly. So this is the wig straight out of the box and as promised, she comes ready to go. This is 100% glueless. Um, it's also pre-cut lace. You don't have to cut the lace at all and she even includes some pre-styled baby hair. Here is a look at the water wave texture. I love the combination of browns, beautiful tones. It's giving all of the fall vibes but it's still popping for summer. This is a look at the inside construction of the cap. It does include this adjustable elastic band and again it is is glueless. I want to give you a close-up of everything so that you can see exactly what to expect in your package. She comes as a center part so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the lace super tight and snug for my head and then I'm going to put her on and you guys can see I start out by putting the elastic band and then I apply the back of the wig and then the front. Here is a good look at the back of the wig once it's on. She's nice and full and the curls are definitely super defined. Here I am just showing you how I cut off just a little bit of the lace on the edge because I want to do a little bit of a frontal moment. Although this is a closure, I'm going to pull this hair forward to give the illusion that this is a frontal. I don't want you guys to see or anyone for that matter to be able to see that line of demarcation of where the lace stops and then the wig starts if that makes any sense because you guys know with closure wigs it ends at some point and you don't have that ear-to-ear -ear lace so what I like to do is train the hair on the sides where the lace and the tracks start um, pull some hair forward and kind of let that marry and then I kind of like train the hair to go forward that way you'll never be able to see those tracks if the wind blows or if you're like kicking or you know laying down somewhere no one will be able to see that and I do that with the Dynamic Duo, which is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. Both are from my site, bdeckbitty.com. And I just use it to literally make everything look flawless. Next, we're going with this Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. I just picked up a darker shade. I believe this one is shade 15. And I'm going to use the lighter shade in this palette to go ahead and warm up the lace. This is going to act as a lace tint, but also be sure to always blend your lace tint out. I'm going to take the corresponding foundation powder along the hairline. Now I did get very generous with this product and I'm just buffing it in as much as I can to get it really nice and dense. And as you guys can see, I did one half of the wig first and then I paired it up with the second half and then we're going to do a magic trick. It looks super good right now, but we're going to make it melt and let me show you how. So I'm going to pull my hair back and I'm going to add a little bit of mousse. A lot of body happens to be one of my favorites. It just has the best effect of all and I just like to apply a generous amount on top of everything we've already done and you're going to see I'm going to dab off the excess what's not too wet I'm going to apply a melt belt and let it sit for at least five minutes while I work on the rest of the hair and it's going to make the lace disappear like no other while keeping my install 100% glueless so here is the star of the show which is the length it's nice it's full it's defined and it's absolutely a gorgeous chestnut brown color I'm just taking a wig brush and detail I wanted to see it in its big beautiful essence and then I decided to go ahead and remove the melt belt but I wanted to make sure everything was dry and the mousse was like not still wet and you guys can see how that magically made the lace melt again I did go ahead and swoop some baby hair on the sides to marry the tracks with the lace and this is what it looks like I wanted to keep it big because I don't know I just was feeling this look the next morning we did go to the pool and I thought this look was perfect for like poolside with big sunny shades and some you know a bathing suit and some flip-flops and some shorts but of course I wanted to show you guys how to define the hair as well water wave literally is one of my favorite textures with this one I didn't want to go and like spend time just getting it completely wet I wanted to keep it as dry as possible while still working on definition so I did add a combination of that curls walk product 
or is it curls rock i think it's curls rock with the mousse i applied that all over the hair concentrating a little bit of extra mousse at the ends now I'm taking the dimming brush to kind of clump it together i did add a minimal amount of water just to stretch that product everywhere and as you guys can see it's not super wet but it's definitely super defined and the ends are a little bit more wet because they tend to be a little bit more dry but once it dries it'll all be in unison now i'm doing the same thing on the opposite side where i made that cocktail between that cream product and my mousse kind of mix it together in my hands and then saturate it all over the wig and again i'm doing this because i don't want to dampen the hair i don't want it to be super moussey or super wet i just want to define the curls as best i can and this was the perfect way to do it without it being like soaking wet now if you want you can also diffuse the hair i did not do that i'm gonna allow it to air dry but you guys can see how beautiful the hair is wet as well as how beautiful it was dry and here is a look at all of the products that they provided they did give us this beautiful robe it's pink it's beautiful it's everything and of course it's yours and then this is the box that the wig came in inside you guys can see you get a pink dust bag which matches your robe super cute you get your HD wig caps, which are literally the best wig caps on the market. They did give me this pack of notepads, which come in handy. My last pack, Dakota stole my daughter. This here, I believe, is a, tra a portable like a uh, crochet needle. And then inside this little mesh bag, they gave us another pack of wig caps, a pack of eyelashes, um, a melt belt to go ahead and do that melt effect with the mousse that I did, as well as a gold kabuki brush. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can wear it dry. You can wear it wet. You can you wear it diffused. You can add braids or anything you like. But the most important thing about this one is that you have literally the best, the best flawless lace of all time. You can clock people and say, what lace, boo? Because literally this one is so fire, so flawless. I'm going to have her linked in the description box. Be sure to check out everything there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.